Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five best Osaur rifles after the current update. Here, I'm actually recommend you guys this is all the best Osaur rifles right now for season two. Legit, there's been a, like, a lot of updates, a lot of buffs, nerfs been coming around to it, but I finally got it the best slaughters, man, for the new best Osaur rifles right now for season two. These are going to be some best slaughters that you guys actually can rock for Caldera and the Reaper Filing, of course. And if you guys are brand new to the channel as well, always remember to do is drop a like on today's video, hit that subscribe button, guys, are brand new, comment down below. You guys tell us about the class setup and recommend me some guys you guys want to see in the next video as well and don't forget to hit that button comment a brand new video so always be posted on the channel so you guys don't be missing out the top best slotos every time i always be uploading them now let's hop right into them all right ladies and gentlemen so the first gun we're going to be talking about is the vargo 52 now this actually is the brand new assault rifle that asked the guy added into warzone and in cold war as i see today's update so here's a good long range setup that you guys should actually recommend abusing right now if you guys actually don't want to but i'm telling you guys this is actually a good long range gun itself so for the most we got is the crew suppressor of course it helps with your vertical bullet velocity and your efficient damage range um barrel 100 will use the task force barrel you legit like these are like the best two attachments for when it comes down to any type of cold war gun especially if it's like a good long range setup itself optic it's really just up to you guys but i know legit almost 100 percent of the whole entire community always use the arm three time scope to actually just help us with the long distance type of range fights itself um magazine this is really just up to you guys on what preference you guys want to use but I can tell you guys 100% the Vargo um, 52 Assault Rifle, it's almost kind of made it like a like a Fair 83 and an XM4 together. It's like they both was like mixed together and it's really good, but the fire rate on it is kind of reminds me of the, fire, um, the Fair 83. It has a faster fire rate, which means you're going to run out of ammo pretty much quick as fast as it is. If you guys want to see a quick little gameplay on it, you guys of course can check it out on my channel as well. Legit, I have more of an in-depth detail about it and of course the same setup that you guys want to see in today's video. The magazine itself, I can tell you 100%, man, it's like a little bit of a glitch in a bug. It legit takes like three seconds after putting the magazine in for it to like refill its ammo back up. But I can 100% say the Spen S60 round mag is legit probably one of the best attachments that's going to be for the um, Vargo. And especially if you want to use like a fast round mag for it, it's not really worth it because it's just going to be the same as it is. Plus with a slower ADS speed for it. On the barrel, 100% would be the spend that grip, but actually just help us with your horizontal and your vertical recoil control. All right, guys, so the next gun we're going to be talking about is the Kilo. Now, I noticed recently, man, the Kilo has actually been like a shredding gun lately. I don't know something about it, man. The Kilo looks like it got a little stuff, little buff to it. It's been hitting heavy, and it's been hitting real good for the slow recoil, and especially the damage output for it on any type of map that you guys ever do play, Caldera or Rebirth. So here's the best setup. I really don't have to explain too much about it, man. This really is like a good long race type of setup for itself. Muzzle, of course, for your monolithic suppressor, your barrels, you got your Shannon Gar Arm 19.8 Poly Barrel, the best barrel that you do rock 50 kilo. VLK, up to you guys on what type of optic you guys really want to survive a rock, but of course, everybody just like the rockets to be able to um, VLK three time optic scope. You got your 60 round magazine for the big round mag in your clip, and of course, your commando foregrip for your underbell as well. All right, guys, so the next gun we're going to be talking about is the Automaton. I'm still not really much of a fan of this gun, but I've been seeing like a lot of like people been rocking this gun, including streamers like boss everybody's like to rock the automaton it's a good little for this little recoil but the damage output i don't know what's was crazy about it i don't think this is really like a popular gun but i mean hey if everybody likes this gun i tried it out it's somewhat decent it's not really much of op as it is but i mean hey it's still a good recommended gun that a lot of people like to use so of course this is the best attachment man you got your mx silencer for your muzzle which a lot of people should 100 percent starting out to rock this silencer it actually got like a little buff to it which they actually gave some vertical vehicle control and your horizontal vehicle control this is only this is almost as kind of like a agency suppressing your monolithic suppressor but the HC has like a little bit more of a buff to the Cold War guns than when it actually comes down to the Vanguard guns itself. The barrel, this is really just up to you guys, but I know it's a lot of people still with SC Rocket. It's a 600 millimeter barrel, which actually still helps with your highly accurate and control and actually reduce the sway while aiming down sight. A lot of people still rock this barrel. Some people would rather rock is the sniper, but it actually just helps with your bullet velocity and your range, but it really does actually can't, like, you know what I'm saying, like handle out the factor of is your recoil control, and especially like for any type of long distance range type of fights itself. So I was 100% say recommended using the first barrel for it. Um, optic, this is really just up to you guys, but I noticed a lot of people on Caldera SC Rock, this VT, like, like, I don't, I don't like this scope on Rebirth. I think this, like, is one of the worst scopes I think you can actually run on Rebirth itself. Even though it's, like, a ground loot, it's not really mostly, like, one of the best one. So, I would recommend this scope for Caldera, and if you guys want to find, like, a little good scope for Rebirth, I would probably say this rock is the G16. It's almost, it's kind of like the three-time scope for your, um, for, for, like, your, your Cold War guns, and, of course, it's, like, the VLK 
from your Modern Warfare guns. This is exactly almost the same like this, but it's just a 2.5. So that's the only thing bad about it. So you won't get like the long distance type of range itself, but it's just almost kind of like that. So I would recommend this is more of like a Reaper type of scope itself than it is for a Caldera. Um, stock 100% with Rock is the padded one, but it's just helping with your accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire, and of course, it actually helps with your flips resistance while getting shot at. Um, perks of course, you guys want to rock is tight grip and fully loaded, even with the tight grip. Um, glitches that's been going on. I will 100% still recommend it's the tight grip since a lot of people don't like it. Um, on the automaton, since they feel like it has a low recoil, but not so many people don't know how to control the recoil for most of these Vanguard guns. I will recommend is using the tight grip um, perk on your automaton. Um, polymer for the rear grip, but actually, this helps with your flitz resistant, and you know, it's, it's almost just kind of like the same thing as the stock itself. Um, magazine, of course, you still want to rock your 75 round drum magazine. None of these other magazines actually do help besides the 50 round, but it does actually take a little bit of the negativity of your plus fire weight, which a lot of people would like the fire rate on majority of your type of long range type of guns itself. And of course, we're not about you guys, your hand stop. So the next gun we're going to be talking about is the EM2. Now, everybody still likes this gun, and I really do like this gun as well. This is still one of the top performance assault rifles that I can still recommend as the number one spot. It'll just, it's heavy, it's good for its range, the recoil, everything about it is really good. There's no, there's no, if you do know how to control the recoil for the EM2, man, you do, a, you legit will have a blast with this gun, especially for these attached to a between you guys man it's legit one of the best setups right now for this em2 and especially as even at the like the recoil just nasty came down to this gun this is still like one of the heavy hitting guns and one of the best attachments i can actually recommend for you guys so most of you guys your agt suppressor barrel you guys your task force three time optic for your um for your scope footy round magazine that actually doesn't penalize no type of ads speed which actually is a quicker ads speed with it than when it comes down to the 50 round magazine for it and for the underbrush you got your field engine grip which actually does the same thing as your horizontal and your vertical recoil control all right y'all and the last gun we're going to be talking about is the c58 now i'm not gonna lie man the c58 is still a good gun but not too many people know how to control the recoil for it as of today it's legit one of the own this is kind of like one of the second best assault rifles that's good for Calder and a Reaper pilot, but like I said again, it's like the recoil for it. It's nowhere near like the EM2. It's more easier to control the EM2 than it is for the C58. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below right now which one would you guys really prefer out of the assault rifles. They do hit heavy, but I think it actually comes down to the recoil, which actually kind of does beat of which one you guys will actually take the number one spot for it. So, for the agency, of course, you guys sure for your muzzle, barrel, you still want to rock your task force, three time optic scope, 45 round mag, and of course, for your underbarrel, you guys your field agent grip. Now, the one thing I would kind of recommend if you don't know how to control the recoil for the task force, I will 100% say the best one for it is going to be is your ranger. A lot of people have been actually been talking about the takedown barrel, which actually does help us with your fish damage range. But you are losing is your vertical recoil control, which a lot of people would rather have that with using the task force barrel. But it legit, it's all about just which one would you rather just use, man? Would you rather have everything all in for one for the task force barrel, but it actually does, you know what I'm saying, penalize your recoil control for it? Or you rather just use the task force, I said task force, the takedown or the ranger barrel? It's really just up to you guys. The three barrels is all what recommends for the C58. And I will 100% just say to this day, it's still going to be the Task Force Barrel. If you know how to control it, majority of the people, they would rather use the Ranger Barrel when it actually comes down to the C58. So that's mostly just it, man. I hope you guys did enjoy today's class up for them as well. I'm sorry that we kind of actually made this video a little bit longer than what it is, but I know it's legit. It's kind of hard for a lot of people to kind of understand when it comes down to these class setup, especially knowing what's to pick the right class setup for these guns, especially and want to know how to rank them up and what's the setup that a lot of people always be running on them to actually want to know how did they get deleted so fast so this is kind of like some fastest killing guns that i'm actually recommend you guys man and i hope you guys do slay out in warzone as well but as always see you guys next time